And eight to go, and it's Prospect Park in full flight for the wire here. Prospect Park very confidently handled by Kent Solmo, cantering home with his ears pricked. We thought when he was a yearling, we thought he was pretty impressive looking, but you never know. He proved it today. What a nice horse. That was good. That's what we were hoping for right there. He's, you know, he's just maturing and getting bigger and stronger, and, and now we got to see where we go from here. He's a good looking horse. Yeah, you know, he's been feeling awful good. He's, he's really coming around at the right time, maturing, developing. For connections in the sport of kings, there's nothing better than to have an improving three year old colt this time of year. A promising horse's progression can quickly turn him into a Kentucky Derby contender. Prospect Park's trainer, Cliff Sice, along with his owner and breeder, Marty and Pam Wygod, hope this could be one of those horses. Yeah, we have a lot of hope for him. I mean, he's a big, good-looking horse. He strides good. And right now, he's very sound, and, and he's still learning. It took him a while to learn, you know, because even when he went to second and third, you know, you could go over his races, and, you know, he gave up a lot of lengths in a couple of them. And, you know, but now he's learning, so hopefully he's on his way. Prospect Park broke his maiden in his fourth start, going a mile and a sixteenth. But even that wasn't easy when the talented three-year-old Colt started to colic the day before the race. We waited until the morning of the race. He still didn't quite clean up. But the morning of the race, when we took him out to jog, and he was just feeling like, like a maniac. They come for home at Prospect Park, starting to inch clear, and Prospect Park's going to win it. Prospect Park has won it. We didn't know how much the colic was going to take out of him, but so it kind of showed that he had to take something out because he was training very good into that race where he came back and then ran his monster race. Prospect Park's monster race occurred on January 30th. It was supposed to be the Gompers coming out party, but the heavy one to two favorite was no match for Prospect Park on this day. You always like the, the perfect trip, but I knew when we drew the one hole, it wasn't going to happen. And away they go. Prospect Park is down at the rail. I mean, we wanted to lay him off the pace, so can't, can't let him break, but then going in the first turn, we got a little traffic there, and, you know, and then from the half mile quarter pole, he just, Kent did the best he could. Prospect Park still waiting for room. Let's see, he's getting out now. And here comes Prospect Park. He just went right on by the Gomper. And eight to go, and it's Prospect Park in full flight for the wire here. Prospect Park very confidently handled by Kent Asomo, cantering home with his ears pricked. Prospect Park, a procession, one at about five. Prospect Park will make his stakes debut in the Grade Two San Felipe on March 7th. He'll likely face undefeated Ocho Ocho Ocho. Well, it's a good spot because uh, right now you got the two good horses that just ran. They're going to skip it. So that gives you a nice opening there. There's no telling who's going to show up if uh, American Pharaoh's going to show up or I think Jim Cassidy's horse will show up in there. So, you know, it's just he's training great up right now to it. So. And for size, Prospect Park is only part of the equation. He's excited about all the well-bred Wygod homebreds in his barn. All the horses I got in the barn right now, people would die to have these things. You know, they're just all well-bred and very fun right now. I mean, you know, these were the ones I always wanted Marty to send me when I was training for him. You know? Wygod enjoys seeing his horses develop into racehorses. No question about it. You watch them grow and you get attached. You think he's carrying more muscle instead of a slightly lighter? Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, him and Pam. They're the two nicest people you'll ever meet, you know. Marty can get tough once in a while, but I mean, he's basically real good. Why God bred Prospect Park's damn quiet romance. She has thrown five winners and a couple of graded stakes winners, silent size and proposed. The Why Gods not only got to see Prospect Park work on this particular morning, but they got to see his full sister too. Love Quote is a two-year-old filly, and she's already galloping at San Luis Ray Downs very deep based breeding program that Marty's put together and, and you know I think it's gonna really pay off in the next few years. He's got his breeding program down to the all the right mares and stallions right now. So should hear a lot about you know good things from other horses here too. If everything goes according to plan, Prospect Park should get better as the races get longer. No question about it. The tap in the bottom on the top line and quiet romance on the second 
His fillies were all grade one, two fillies go on two turns, so, and they were by benchmark, so by tap it, it's the right kind of horse. Now it's up to Prospect Park and to see what he can do in the San Felipe. It's just a great stepping stone for us to, to go in the San Anita Derby. You know, we'll tell you, okay, are we really this good or aren't we, you know, so, which I feel we, we are, you know. I mean, good enough for Baffert's horse, and uh, yeah, that was a great race. I mean, he seems like he's going really in the super direction that he needs to go in, but we'll find out.